What's good, YouTube? It's Justice. I used to be Pay, and today I'm back with another video. And now I know this is by far going to be my most unserious video that I've ever made, but that's, you know, it's whatever. But real quick, I just wanted to say thank you for all the love and support. Make sure you leave a like, leave a subscribe. It helps me out a ton. I'm trying to pay off this college tuition. And real quick, just wanted to let you guys know that the Paycheck Podcast is back, and I think I'm going to be uploading it every single Monday. Uh, the live lost to the pre-recorded options in terms of polls, so I'm going to be going with the pre-recorded option of the podcast, so be on the lookout for that every single Monday. Now, to get straight into this video, Sexy Red is the result of the sassy men apocalypse. Now, if you've never heard this phrase, you probably think I'm insane and some sort of mentally deranged, but I'm not. I'm just maybe a little bit chronically online. And this is a term that's really come from TikTok. It's a term that a lot of younger people have been using, specifically young women. And it's basically just meant to describe this era of men that are sassy, I guess. Examples of this are men who like use certain emojis, like they'll use like the eye roll emojis or like if they respond to their girlfriend and be like, oh, you thought you ate, like they'll use like, you know, catchphrases that are typically associated with women and just use them against their girlfriends or whatever. And it's like, oh, you're sassy or whatever. It's like a big thing on social media. But it also goes beyond that. A lot of the times in reality, it's just men expressing their feelings and not just being like an empty shell robot of a person honestly more times than not but that's whatever that also plays into this and also if you're a man watching this video specifically an older man dude just relax don't take this video so seriously i know you guys are gonna be like oh my god these new kids are softer oh, these men are sassy oh my god like it's really not that deep bro like just just relax just 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 calm down you're watching a youtube video you're not in the streets take a deep breath but how does the sassy men apocalypse play into Sexy Red? Well, I'll tell you. Sexy Red has been booming right now. She's been running the summer damn near. Like, she's one of the most popular rappers in the game right now. But the thing is, she's not the same as other female rappers in the sense of a lot of her audience is male. And I don't mean a lot. I mean probably close to, like, half. Maybe, like, 40 to 60% of her audience is probably male. And this isn't totally unique to Sexy Red. Of course, there are men who like Nicki Minaj. There are men who like Doja Cat. There are men who like all types of female rappers. But it's just a little different when she's getting the support of a lot of straight men who typically listen to trap music, right? Because a lot of the time, those men will be like, oh, I'm not listening to a female. That, that, I'm a man. I can't listen. You know, they'll they'll get into those type of discussions when they talk about female music. And, oh, you listen to Nicki Minaj. You gay, bro. Like, a lot of stuff like that happens when it comes to female rappers and straight male rap fans who typically listen to like trap music or whatever is mainstream at the moment. And so for Sexy Red to have a very large male fan base, it's a little interesting. And again, I think it leads back to this sassy men apocalypse when really it doesn't mean men are sassy. I think it just is really the evolution of men in terms of like being comfortable with themselves and not having to be this straight rigid board of masculinity at all times. Like, Men are more comfortable just being themselves, whatever that is, and it doesn't mean that they have to be in this box at all times. They're okay with sometimes expressing some stuff that may not be the most masculine and just the strongest thing ever. Like, you know, they're okay being themselves. And that has led a lot of men to being fans of Sexy Red because she makes fire music, at least in terms of, like, enjoyment, music that you can play that's a banger, that's, you know, you playing at a party, you playing at a club. Like, she makes music like that that people can enjoy, and men are not afraid to enjoy her music. And it's because men have gotten sassy, which doesn't really mean anything, but men have just become a lot more comfortable in being themselves, especially this younger generation. They don't feel so fragile about their masculinity to where it's like, oh, my God, if I listen to a female rapper, this must mean I like boys. Like, men have especially these younger men, are a lot more secure in who they are as a person, so they don't let stuff like that affect them, and they're not going to go around their friends like, oh my god, bro, you listen to Sexy Red, you get, like, they may make jokes here and there, but for the most part, the average man growing up today is a little bit more comfortable in their masculinity to where they don't have to feel so scared to listen to a female rapper, because in all honesty, that's really stupid. Like, if you think listening to a female rapper affects what genitalia a person's attracted to, you, you've lost the plot. But a lot of people have lost the plot. So, you know, it, it's an improvement. So because of this kind of development and specifically younger men, a lot of men are able to listen to Sexy Red because she makes 
fire music. She makes catchy music, and it's music that people of any demographic can listen to, but now men can be like, hey, I can enjoy this thing without feeling like, oh my God, I'm not a man. And it's it's a it's a cool thing in my opinion. Because in all honesty, she damn near makes music for men. Like obviously she's rapping about stuff that women can relate to and rapping about female body parts and having you know sex. I don't know if I can say that on YouTube from the perspective of a woman, but at the end of the day, it's very much packaged in a way that's also very presentable to men. And not just gay men, you know, like a lot of people say, when female rappers only, you know, try to attract gay men, but straight men as well. And this is all outside of the realm of just, oh, she looks good, so yeah, men like her. Like, it's not like, oh, you know, a lot of men are drooling over Sexy Red because she's just so attractive. A lot of men genuinely like her music and actually will listen to her music. And it also goes to show that that whole idea of men saying like, oh, you know, I I can't listen to women because all they rap about is their bodies and taking advantage of men and money. Like, it just goes to show that that's BS because that's all Sexy Red raps about. Her biggest, well, I won't say it's her biggest song, but the song that literally put her on is a song where she's rapping about the color of her genitalia. So that whole thing where men, you know, were saying, ah, you know, we can't listen to Nicki Minaj, all she rap about is her body. Like, that's just not true because Sexy Red is about as vulgar as you can get before you just kind of like reach that like tipping point to where it's like, all right, this is just kind of like, come on now. She's, she's like damn near at that tipping point of where it's just like, okay, you know, you're going a little far. Like she's at that, that breaking point and men still listen to her regardless. She's rapping about doing all types of stuff that, you know, I'm not going to speak about on YouTube, but it goes to show that that whole idea that, oh, I'm a man, so I can't listen to no woman rap about her but like it it just shows it's not true and so i think a lot of her success is attributed to the fact that a lot of these younger men who are growing up are a lot more secure in their masculinity and aren't afraid of being this and being called that like i mean of course there are going to be people making jokes and you know you don't want to do the it's always going to exist there's always going to be jokes about your masculinity if you listen to female rappers it's just always going to be a thing but nowadays people have kind of learned to let it roll off their shoulder and not want to fight about it. Like, if you got called gay in, like, 2012, a lot of these dudes damn near ready to fight. Nowadays, and be like, bro, okay, whatever. Like, you got it, bro. If a woman calls you sassy nowadays, it's, all right, whatever. You got it. It doesn't really matter. And it it has allowed somebody like Sexy Red to come into the scene and do every single thing that men have complained about for years that rappers have rapped about, female rappers. Rap about her body, rap about taking advantage of men, rap about money, rap about sex. Like she does every single thing that all these men had said for years was the reason they can't listen to female rappers. But now she has a very strong male audience. And not only that, like obviously men are a little bit more comfortable in being themselves nowadays, but Sexy Red does have some fire beats. Like her beat selection is crazy. And also she kind of, I don't know, this is a weird comparison, but hear me out. Sexy Red kind of reminds me of Waka Flocka. Like that's kind of how Waka Flocka used to rap back in the day. Like if you listen to some of her flows, it's very simple. It's very basic. She's not going to wow you with her lyrical prowess. She's not going to say anything profound. She's ha- she's making lit music. She's making very simple bars, very simple cadences that everyone can follow, that you can listen to the song twice and know the lyrics to. Like you can recite very easily. She kind of fits into that Waka Flocka party anthem music type of lane and I don't think anyone's really said that yet. So that's my that's my comparison for Sexy Red. She's kind of like a modern day Waka Flocka Flame. She's not going to surprise you and amaze you with her rapping ability. And she's so talented. Oh, my God. But she makes fun banger music that everybody can get behind and everybody can sing, including men. And not just gay men, because I know there's a lot of gay men who listen to rap music, but straight men who typically listen to trap. She has a flow that's similar to all the popular trap artists, to Lil Durk, to Lil Baby. Like, she does similar things to them, but she's a woman, and she raps about her body, and she raps about doing all types of freaky stuff, and men don't really complain about it. So I think it's really cool, and the sassy men apocalypse, it's not a real thing. It's literally just men finally now being okay, actually having emotions and being a regular human being, like not being a stiff board of... I'm strong, I'm a man, I don't have a mo- like, it's just, when women call men sassy, it's really just them expressing their emotions more times than not, but this kind of apocalypse, as social media is calling it, of sassy men, has birthed sexy red in, in the sense of, like, it's allowed her to grow beyond what she could have been maybe five years ago, maybe 10 years ago, especially 15 years ago. So I think it's really cool. And I like Sexy Red. You can call me sassy, whatever. I know the old heads are going to be mad at this video because I'm referring to men in my generation as sassy men, but it doesn't matter. It's not that serious. 
it's just, you know, just, just take a deep breath. Uh, take, take a deep breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Cause it's, it's really not that deep. We're not actually saying that men in this era are sassy and they're going and acting like, I'm just saying that's what it's called. That's why I titled the video that way. But yeah, I just wanted to make that quick video and just point out the fact that man, sexy red has a lot of fans and a lot of her fans are men and it's not just because oh my god she looks so good they're drooling over her all the time even though you know some of them maybe but for the most part they just genuinely enjoy her music and are allowed to express that and don't feel like oh my god i'm not a man if i listen to a woman rap if i was listen to a woman rap about her body i'm not a man that feeling's kind of being relinquished it's not all the way gone but it's being relinquished and it's allowed sexy red to really thrive in this era and i just want to end the video by saying this drake is the most sassy man ever I don't know why I needed to throw that in there, but Drake, if, if you're looking for a sass, Drake's the sassiest. Just going to end the video off by saying that. But if you like this video, if you agreed with what I said, leave a like, leave a comment down below. I greatly appreciate it. Leave a subscribe. Or if you didn't like this video and you think, you know, uh, you gay, bruh. You gay. Y'all gay. Y'all listen to what? Y'all gay. If you're going to look at me like, you know, Boosie probably would after seeing this video, if you're disappointed in me, because y'all gay. That's sad. That, hey. Leave that comment down below telling me I'm gay too. It's cool. It, it doesn't really bother me. It's, it doesn't bother me. Um, but yeah, if you made it this far, I greatly appreciate you. Again, make sure you leave a like, leave a subscribe, be on the lookout for the Paycheck Podcast. It's coming. Um, but yeah, have a good day. Have a blessed day. Be safe. Peace.